Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the IIT JAM Mathematical Statistics Solutions. In this lecture, we will see how you can solve this question number 21 and 23 in a very simple manner. This is the question number 21 which is related to the simple regression models are there having some you have to find some le method of the least square estimation of this unknown parameter alpha and beta while some information about the set data set is given to you. While this question number 23 is related to some distribution functions and you will get some requirement on the second success and then you have to find this probability. How you can solve these two questions, these all questions are uh, very simple are there how you can solve these two questions within a one minute's task are there so that is our target in this presentation myself dr gar working in the school of mathematics you can simply follow this link for finding this more previous year papers now what is the concept behind this question number 21 you can see this is a simple regression lines are there and since it is a linear what is given to you this is nothing but my yi is alpha plus beta of xi this is the error this is the iid random error are there now you have to find the values of the alpha and beta what is that this is a very simple question so what you can use you can use simple the method of the least care so once you are using the method of the least care you have to draw this normal equation so all of you know that what is the normal equation of this that is the simple of here this is a take a summation on both side and take multiply with the x and then take the summation on the both side so what will happen this is alpha of x plus if you multiply with the x and this is x square now what is the remaining pending is that whatever is given to you you can substitute the values what is the summation of y is given to you as uh, this is 50 n is given as a 20 alpha plus sum of the xi is given to be 100 of beta and second part is my xy is given to you as my 400 alpha is unknown summation of xi is my 100 and x square is given to you as of my 600 can you solve these two equations now you will get the required answer for example if you write as a first equation if you divide it by 10 you will get as of this expression and if you divide it by 100 it will get as a this expression you can simplify it easily otherwise you can substitute one by one for example if alpha if alpha is 5 if you take alpha as a 5 then what will happen is beta is my minus 1 by 6 which is not true it means this option discard alpha is minus 5 if alpha is my minus 5 what is the value of the beta from here this is a 10 sorry 9 6 by 9 beta is my 9 by 6 that is a 3 by 2 it satisfied can it satisfy the first part also so if alpha is minus 5 it's a minus of 10 it's a 15 so beta is my 15 by 10 is again 3 by 2 so this is the right answer you can check that other options are discarded so you can see if alpha is minus 5 this option discard if alpha is 5 its answer is minus so this option discard this is the only right answer look at this question number 23 you can see this is our Bernoulli distributions are there with probability of success is 1 by 5 you can see this is the requirement the probability number of trials to get the second success this is the requirement so do you remember that any of the distribution which is working on certain requirement yes this is called as the negative binomial distribution it means you have to apply the negative binomial distribution otherwise what is the meaning of that it means your target is to write like this way and your requirement is my second success so i can write this term as of this now since my requirement is a two success so it means i have to perform minimum of two times experiment if you perform one time experiment then you are unable to get the uh, x is equal to 2 that is a second success are there now what is the meaning of that it means if you perform the two time experiment the condition is that this one will be my second success so what is the meaning of that this one must be the first success so there are the two successes are there so the required probability is p square what is the meaning of the x3 is these are my third so the requirement here is this third one is my second success so it means out of these out of these two there is one success and one failure so what is the meaning of that out of two there is a one success probability is p q into this is the probability of the second success plus what is the meaning of the four is you have to conduct the four experiment and up to the fourth is my second success it means out of these three there is a one success and the two failure so again out of three there is a one success and the probability one and the two failures multiply this is the probability of the success now you can simplify it you can see there is a p square will be common 
what is that this is 2c1 is 2 into q plus 3c1 is 3 this is q square now what is that this is the probability of the success so if the probability of success is by 1 by 9 3 it's a 1 by 9 so what is that this is my q what is that p is nothing but my 1 by 3 what is the q is nothing but my 2 by 3 so if you substitute here this is 4 by 3 this is by 4 by 9 this is again 4 by 3 so what is the answer of that this is nothing but my 8 by 11 by 9 so what is that this is 11 by 81 so if you subtract them what will happen if uh, 81 this uh, 11 by 81 so if you subtract them what will happen this is this is nothing but my this is sorry this is 3 so this is 11 by 27 so what is that this is nothing but my 16 by 27 is there any yes this is the right answer for this problem so since this is the one question which is related to the negative binomial distribution functions are there if you want to find some more questions for the practice purpose before entering the examination you can simply follow my previous video mck on the distribution function where the 16 questions are discussed about you which can be solved in a very simple manner with the shortcut fix so this is available in this uh, my youtube channel till then we will see and some another videos related to this iit jam 2020 questions are there you can follow this uh, channel name for, for the uh, various videos. Till then, best of luck students.